Hey makeup artists, welcome to MakeupClasses.com. I'm Dawn and today is Makeup Tip Monday, number 49. Have a set bag or makeup belt equipped with all your touch-up essentials. Makeup artists, organization really is another skill that you want to work on and master, especially if you are working on location where you have a particular makeup setup area or a makeup room, and then you're going to work in another area, like a set, a photography set, a TV set, a film set. So today's Makeup Tip Monday is all about being mindful about the fact that you are going to work in one area and then you're going to have to work in another area. So my recommendation is for you to have extra bags with you when you go out to work on these particular jobs. So makeup artists, this particular bag, this is a pretty large set bag. And yes, I have used large bags like this when going out on set. And I've seen other makeup artists as well use large bags. It depends on the job. You know, sometimes you're going to need more things on set than other jobs. This bag here, this little, this is a little bag. Now this doesn't have a uh, strap, but you would just carry this out on set with all your essentials. I like wearing things, you know, if I have a lot of stuff, I like to wear things with a strap so I could just throw it over my shoulder. It's just a convenience thing. And makeup gets really heavy. As you know, makeup artists, you have a lot of stuff. So this is just really convenient because then I have my hands available to carry other things. So why is it so important to have bags with you? Because you don't want to run back and forth. That just leads to a lot of chaos, a lot of unnecessary time. And quite honestly, people get really upset if you're constantly having to run back to your makeup area, back to set, go back to the makeup area, back to set. You're just holding up the show, so to speak. I love a good Ziploc bag. Now for makeup artists just starting out, you may not have this enormous budget where you can buy all these beautiful makeup bags, right? Use a plastic bag. They are so inexpensive. You could get them at a dollar type store. This is really great for a few reasons. One, it's extremely sanitary. So if you're working on specific talent and you want to keep their makeup, their brushes, their sponges away from other people's stuff, if you want to really practice high standards of sanitation, you'll use a Ziploc bag. When I worked in news, I would have bags made for my regulars. So I knew my schedule, I knew when they would be coming in. So I would take out their bag and I literally would pour the items out on the table, organize them very nicely. This way when my talent arrived, they would just walk in the room and I was preset. I had everything ready to go for them. They so appreciated this. This is one of the reasons why they loved me. I also love a cool makeup belt. Great thing about this, it, it makes you look official, right? It looks really cool. It has pockets and holders for your brushes. But the downside to a makeup belt is there really isn't that much room, especially for messy things. So this belt really is for brushes, your sanitation materials, that sort of thing. Well guys, I hope today's Makeup Tip Monday helps. Remember to invest in some makeup bags or disposable plastic bags or a makeup belt when you're working on set. Please like, subscribe down below, drop me a line, let me know what you think about this video what do you think about bringing a bag to work using a makeup belt? What are your experiences working on set? I would love to hear from you. And I know the viewers here on this channel would love to hear some really great advice from you as well. I'll see you next week right here at MakeupClasses.com for another Makeup Tip Monday. Bye everyone.
Now, here, I gotta tighten this up. It's a little loose. Anyway, oh, ooh, this is tight. 